You can make your own printed circuit board in a number of different ways, using chemicals, or you can have your board professionally made at a fabrication house, or you can use one of these, a milling machine. As always, you'll need to start with a design for your board. The other mill accepts most common PCB design file formats. I'm using EagleCAD software here, which exports in BRD format. But this time, instead of my own design, I'll be using this capacitive synth layout from the other machine company, because I want to play it. The capacitive synth only has one layer of traces, so we can use a single-sided copper clad board. If we were milling a double-sided board, we'd use a bracket to make sure both sides line up properly. But we're keeping things simple, so we'll just use some double-sided tape to keep the board stable during milling. Make sure it's squared up with the mounting plate and press it down nice and secure before getting started. The other mill software is pretty straightforward. Open up the board file for our project and specify the end mill size we'll be using. This design can be cut using 132nd and 164 inch end mills. We'll start with the smaller of the two which will only be used for the holes and a few tight corners. After the mill goes through a quick calibration process, we can begin cutting copper. Once the mill is done using the 164 inch end mill, it will automatically pause and prompt me to install the 132nd inch. Since this is a relatively large board, the entire process takes a little under two hours to complete. But after that, our board is good to go and ready to solder. Pleasingly glitchable, capacitively touchable. I like it. Keep in mind, you can make more than just electronics with this thing. You can also make cat pins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Credits.